Hey guys, how you doing? Dave here. I love pork chops, I love gravy, I love garlic and all of that good stuff, and I also like quick and easy recipes. So I put together a one pan pork chop and mushroom and garlic gravy. Fantastic, you're gonna love it, and the whole thing can be done in about 30 minutes. So let me walk you through this. So what I've got here are four boneless pork chops. Now you can use bone in if you like. I just, you know, like them with the bone out. And I'm gonna go ahead and season these up with some salt. And pepper. Now you can use whatever seasoning you like, but you know, salt and pepper is good for me. Give them a flip and the same for the other side. So what I'm going to do now is add a good knob of butter to a preheated cast iron skillet. You can use a regular pan if you want, but I just like the skillet. And this is about, I'd say, a tablespoon or two. Let it melt down. Add in some oil, and this is going to keep the butter from burning. You can just use oil too if you like, but I like the butter concept. Next, go ahead and add in our pork chops. And sear them on each side for about two or three minutes, just so they're nicely browned to cook through. Now we've got a nice sear. I'm just going to set these guys aside. Reduce my heat to medium and add in a little more oil if necessary. Mushrooms in. And I should mention these are about 10 or 12 button mushrooms. And I'm just going to fry these until they're golden brown and they've released their, their water. Now the mushrooms are nicely done. I'm going to go ahead and add in a small chopped onion, three cloves of garlic, and I'm just going to saute this until they're fragrant. That nice aroma fills the air. Now the onion and garlic has filled the air. It just smells incredible. And the vampires are jumping out the window. I'm going to add in two tablespoons of flour. Stir this around just kind of until a roux forms. And what you want to do is make sure there are no shades of flour remaining. We'll stir this around till everything's nicely coated. Now we're going to slowly add in a cup and a half of beef broth. Now you can use vegetable, chicken, whatever you like, but I like the beef. We're going to bring this to a boil and stir it just until it thickens up. Once it's simmered for about five minutes and begun to thicken, I'm just going to go ahead and add some additional seasoning of some salt and pepper. And you can add the spices of your choice, but this is what I like. And of course, with anything else, just give it a taste and then adjust accordingly. Okay, our gravy is thickened up here, so I'm going to go ahead and add the pork back in. And allow this to simmer for another few minutes, maybe three minutes or so. After simmering for a few minutes, there you have it guys, our pork chops in mushroom and garlic gravy. Simply delicious. Last step, I'm going to garnish this up with some fresh parsley. Just to kind of get that green effect. And add some freshness and pop. Okay, let's give this a taste test. Mmm. It's so good, guys. I just love it. The way the spices come through, the pork is tender, the gravy is rich, absolutely delicious. You gotta make this. I'm gonna eat more. 
For the full scoop on this recipe and many more great recipes, head on over to cookandshare.com, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.